Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of my Pokemon Rework mini-series. This is a follow-up on the last two videos I made about ice types, particularly the second one where I proposed changes to rework the ice type itself. You can watch that video if you like, but the main thing you need to know is that in the video I proposed that ice should resist water, just like how water resists ice. Both videos used to be one video, but it made sense to split them into two more focused videos. The first video I made about ice types flaws started a lot of discussion, and you, the commenters, had a lot of cool ideas. I couldn't fit them into the second video, so I wanted to highlight them and give them the respect they deserve. Plus, I wanted to ask permission before implementing any feedback, so it made more sense to talk about them in shorter videos. One in particular really stood out to me, and it's from a user called Kinra Jade. This user proposed a few interesting changes. You can pause the video to read it in full, but the one I'm focusing on here is this section. The idea that ice should resist water, but scald and steam eruption should be super effective on ice. Wonderful idea! I love it! This interaction mirrors how the ice move freeze-dry currently works. Water normally resists ice, but freeze-dry is such an intense cold that it is super effective on water. I think that this idea adds to that duality of water and ice. They are equals that can only have the advantage if the water is warm enough or the ice is cold enough. For some context, Scald is a very good water type move that has a chance to burn because boiling water is used for the attack. Steam Eruption is just a stronger and slightly less accurate Scald, exclusive to Volcanion. By the way, Falsewipe Gaming just happened to release a video about Volcanion, and I totally recommend it. At the moment, Scald isn't a TM anymore, and the only Pokémon that learns it naturally is Volcanion. Scald is a very strong move as is, so after the rework, it should be redistributed sparingly to some water types to mirror the limited distribution of Freeze Dry. Steam Eruption is a very strong signature move that should stay limited to Volcanion. Next, Kyurem's signature move Glaciate should be reworked. Glaciate is known in Japanese as Kogoeru Sekai, or Frozen World. Given how intense the cold it would take to create a frozen world, this makes sense to bump up the base power slightly and give it the same effect as Freeze Dry. Glaciate will keep the speed dropping effect, but not get the chance to freeze like Freeze Dry can. This is for balance purposes. Volcanian Steam Eruption has high base power, a chance to burn, and hits both enemies in doubles. This is fine because Volcanion is a mythical Pokémon that cannot participate in VGC. Curum, however, is able to participate in VGC, so I do not want it to freeze half the opposing team in one turn just because it got lucky spamming its Ice Stab. Keep in mind that Glaciate is exclusive to base form Curum. If it transforms into black or white Curum, Glaciate is replaced by their respective signature moves, Freeze Shock and Ice Burn. The base power, power points, and accuracy can be raised or lowered based on how strong or weak these changes are overall. In the end, since water and ice now resist each other, certain normal Pokémon have access to Scald and Freeze Dry to turn the tables. Volcanion and Kyurem have Steam Engine and Glaciate, to which will now be a stronger, signature version of Scald and Freeze Dry. Thanks again, Kinra Jade, for your comment. You helped me create an interesting rework. I really would not have thought of creating more freeze-dry type moves on my own. I'd be curious to see the mods that implement this. Let me know what you all think in the comments. VGC players, I also have a question for you specifically. Glaciate already hits both opponents and lowers speed by one stage. With the new changes I'm proposing, it will also have 70 base power and hit water type super effectively. What do you think about this Glaciate change? Is the buff too conservative? Is it too strong? I'd like to get feedback on that. That's all I've got.